incidences of Al-Shabaab killings have gone up in the few months of the Kenya Kwanza regime. Tulikuwa tumedhibiti kabisa mpaka ule and KDF was doing a good job in terms of defending our sovereignty and keeping our borders safe. So Caleb, we want you ukienda kule bungeni kama mwakilishi wetu uliza my successor Adan Duale under what circumstances did the Kenya Kwanza regime decide to open the Kenya Somalia border na ni kwa nini mauaji yamezidi kutokana na mashambulizi ya Al Shabaab tangu Kenya Kwanza waingie uongozini na kuanza kuongea mambo ya kufungua, kufungua mipaka we must stop careless killing of our young people. A nation that is attacked from the core, the defense system of any nation is the core. So when we leave our young soldiers vulnerable, we must own up as a leadership. Na sisi tumepewa kazi ya kunyorosha serikali wakati wanaenda wrong. Tare kumi, Thursday, I think Thursday is on ninth. Thursday, ni meandikia bunge. Tunaita Aden Dwale kwa kamati ya defense. Akuja tueleze, how did we lose this young man? Hiyo siyo mchezo, hiyo ndiyo kazi yao. Sisi tukipeana mtoto wetu waende kwa jeshi, tunataka rudi, to retire, not to die in the military. Sasao, we are not ready to offer our young people for death. Death ya shakaola ibaki huko. Sasao, shakaola ibaki huko Mombasa. But sisi ya tuko tahari kupeana vijana wetu, badaya ya kulinda inch na warudi hapa wa retire, tuwaone, tuwape mamulaka mengine, Instead of protecting us, we are burying them. So who will protect us? That is a pertinent question. Nataka ni wauliza watu wa sabuti, watu wa kiminini. Muna rusu ni ita hade nduane kwa kamati? Yes. Mme ni rusu? Yes. Wale wanapika picha, onyesha hade nduane, muambie kipoko yake hiko moto. We are not playing around. We cannot continue losing our young people. Na isi mara ya kwanza, we've been burying as soldiers. And the painful part of it is because they are very young. That's how. Mambo ya al-shaba, we can't live 30 years talking about al-shaba. It must end. Na kama mutu wa meposa maarifa ya kutako la al-shaba, we have 50 million Kenyans. Hata kane kwa naeza fanya yu kazi. Mina hitwa kijana pao. Naeza nyorosha watu. Inaitaji maarifa. You don't just expose our soldiers like that. Um, Sorry, soldiers, I know politically you are not supposed to be listening to me. But I have to say this because it is very painful. And we must ask our leaders, what are you doing when our soldiers are being killed? I seriously don't know whether my kids will ever get another daddy. He still remains to be my children's father, and nothing can change that. I love David, and I still love him today and I'll love him forever because that is a promise that I made to him when we married each other. And there is one thing I'll say, David Amenda, but to Konamungu, because the God who injured me with my children, he's still the God who is going to heal me with my children. I'm certain about one thing, that nobody can take the place of God. Whatever God purposed for these children, it shall surely come to pass. I am a strong woman. David Amelazo Pale, Nana Chua, I'm a capable woman. I yellow Mukumbuga. Like in the angel, you know, Mukila. See, Unga in the panda. Atta Chumbi in the panda. Atta Chumbeozi. Evan, do you want me to get a new rule? I'm a Kunanja. Ikonja. Tunasema asanteni kwa hiyo heshima. Jumbe wenye 
kazi ya mjumbe ni kupeleka jiani anakuja kakai wa bisau wamesimama na watu wa kiminini na program ya kijeshi nataka kuita wale ambao bahewa rote ya ndala alafu kuna wale ambao wanatoka Kenya Ordnance Factories Kenya Ordnance Factories they do it we recognize your prayer you know the dream haraka kuna wale ambao wamejamicha amesema the minister for defense you look at what has happened in the last few months